Hello and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe and today we're going to be talking about a piece of news that came out that is maybe pumping the brakes on the Taylor and Travis engagement rumors. We're also going to talk about some fairly invasive paparazzi photos that have come out of Taylor and Travis in Italy that I think are a step too far. But before we get into all of that, I have some very exciting news to share with you all, which is that we are officially launching a brand new YouTube channel that is centered around all things sports. It is called A Fast Break. I will try to link it somewhere here, but if not, I will put the link in the description of this video. If you love sports, if you are a Swifty who's become a sports fan, maybe a Chiefs fan, if you just love sports in general, then this channel is going to be for you. We are actually going to have a podcast style show twice a month where me and my co-host are going to be talking everything going on in the world of sports. It's going to have a nice pop culture spin to it. We're going to cover the Olympics coming up this summer. We're going to obviously cover football lots of other really cool and fun things, all the major stories in the world of sports, but with a fun, you know, pop culture, Swifty style approach. So if you love sports and you're a fan, it would mean so much to us if you would subscribe to our channel, if you know somebody in your life who loves sports, if you would pass the link on to them and share it with them, it would mean so much to us. Our very first episode is going to be dropping this week and we would really appreciate it if everyone gave it a listen, gave it a subscription, uh, and we're excited to have both of these things going. So in the football season, we can do deep dives into the Chiefs and cover you know, what, what, what goes on, on on the field. If you're a new fan of football and you're wanting to kind of dive into the league a little bit more, then hopefully that will be the show for you. But we got to get back into the Taylor and Travis news. So there was an article that came out earlier this week from Us Weekly. Now, before we get into the actual content in said article, I do think it is important to discuss which sources we tend to trust and which sources we tend not to trust. I mentioned earlier, maybe it was last week, or maybe it was earlier this week. Honestly, I can't remember anymore, but Entertainment Tonight and People Magazine are the two I would say most trusted sources in the world of Taylor Swift. It does seem like Taylor and her camp have relationships with both of those outlets because they tend to get information. They tend to have sources um, that would suggest that there is a positive relationship with Taylor Swift and her team. I've said this before, Entertainment Tonight was the very first outlet to confirm Taylor and Joe's breakup. I feel like that kind of says everything you need to know. Now, there are other outlet outlets that are not as reliable, that are not as trustworthy. And one of those is Us Weekly. Do they get things right occasionally? Do they have inside sources and scoops here and there? Sure. But over time, they're definitely not very reliable. And I would say in terms of which sources you trust and don't trust, I'd be more likely to trust an Entertainment Tonight source than I would be to trust an Us Weekly source. Okay. So I just want to say that before we get into the content of the article. But we talked about how Entertainment Tonight reported last week that Taylor's friends and family think that she and Travis are on their way to an engagement, that it is pending very soon. Well, an article came out, as I mentioned this week from Us Weekly saying that Travis has, quote, no plans on proposing to Taylor anytime soon. So this was the this was the exact quote. Travis has no plans on proposing to Taylor anytime soon. It's not even on his radar. Marriage is something he takes very seriously and not something he would ever jump into without giving it some careful consideration. The source went on to say, he cares very deeply about Taylor, but he's just not there yet. Okay, let's just break this down for a second. For the, the first p- part of it is, we obviously have no idea. You and I sitting here talking, we don't we don't actually know. We don't actually know what's going on in both Taylor and Travis's head. We don't know what the actual truth is. So this whole thing, we're all just speculating. We're all just making assumptions. But I find it interesting that the source says marriage is something he takes very seriously and not something he would ever jump into as if Taylor and Travis have been together for like three or four months. These are two people who have been together now for basically 10 months, almost a year. 
And they're also not like 24 years old. They're 34 years old. They're at a place in their life where they are a lot more mature, a lot more settled, obviously, in their own individual lives. And this is the thing that happens just in life in general, where as you get older, you need less and less time to date someone or get to know someone before you decide to get married and get engaged, just because you are more sure of what you want, you're more sure of what you need in a partner, all those types of things. And so to suggest that Taylor and Travis haven't been together long enough to be able to consider what marriage would be like is sort of, I I don't buy that because they have been together for quite some time. I also feel like to compare and contrast, I would be much more likely to trust Entertainment Tonight's sources than I would be to trust Us Weekly's sources. You also have to consider the fact that if Entertainment Tonight has a close relationship with Taylor's camp, specifically her publicist, Tree Payne, they would be very, very wise to not do anything to upset that relationship, to disrupt that relationship, to create drama within that relationship. And so again, I feel like Entertainment Tonight wouldn't report something regarding Taylor Swift without it coming from Taylor Swift's camp or at least her people or around her orbit in her world. That's my own personal feeling. You can believe what you want to believe. I honestly feel like Us Weekly did this to get clicks. I feel like they don't actually really know what they're talking about. They don't actually have real sources. I think they saw this article about a potential Taylor Swift engagement and they thought, well, let's just take the other side of it to get people riled up and we'll get engagement and people that will click on our links and come to our sites. So again, who actually knows? We don't know. (laughs) We don't know. But I have a hard time imagining Taylor and Travis not having those conversations. I think they're having those conversations. Now, whether or not it happens in the next few months, we will have to wait and see. But I, I do think that It's something they're talking about. And also Travis is at a point in his life too where like a lot of his friends are getting engaged or married or have gotten have gotten married or do have kids. Like I feel like he's at a point in his life where he would be ready um, to take that next step. Obviously, I don't know that for sure, but we shall see. Um, The quote or the source also said that um, this was actually from January. Um, A source told Us Weekly that Taylor and Travis have no plans on getting engaged this summer. So like I said, we will have to wait and see what happens. Um, Time will will certainly tell, but it is interesting. And I would love to know in the comment section um, what you think is true. Do you think they're on their way to engagement? Do you think they're not? Do you think, who do you think is right in this situation? Us Weekly or Entertainment Tonight? Uh, I would love to know. The last piece of news I wanted to talk about was There have been some photos circulating the internet, um, especially on Twitter, of Taylor and Travis on their Italian vacation that are just very invasive. They're of them like inside of the villa where they were staying, like having dinner. And you can tell the images were taken with like a super, super, super long lens from very, very, very far away because they're very, very blurry. It's hard to even see. And it's not like there's anything wrong with the photos or inappropriate or anything like that. It's just the two people having dinner. There is a cute photo of Travis like taking a picture of Taylor Swift, but it's just invasive. And I'm all for an adorable, cute Taylor Travis photo. I think we'd all be lying if we said that like Taylor and Travis specifically don't use the paparazzi to their benefit. Like, of course they do. Every celebrity does to some degree. Like they're going to happen. They're going to be around no matter what. So you might as well embrace it in certain parts of your life. Right. And I think that they have certainly, but those were moments when again, a photographer is super, super far away and trying to capture something that just feels icky, feels gross. I don't really like it. Makes me feel weird. Um, and so going forward, like on their European vacation, I would just like, not that any paparazzi are watching this video, but I would like to say like, maybe don't do that stuff. Like I think there's a time and place for paparazzi. And I think Taylor and Travis having like a romantic private personal dinner is like not the place to be taking photos, but you know, I think we're all part of the problem, right? We all like certain photos. We don't like certain photos. It's, it's a tricky thing. It's a tricky thing to navigate. So anyway, that's that for today's show. As always, let me know in the comments, your thoughts, feelings, concerns. As I mentioned earlier, please subscribe to our new channel, a fast break would appreciate it so much. 
You can also sub subscribe to a Swift look if you haven't done so already. Follow us on social media and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.